Jeff, thank you so much for joining me today under these extraordinary circumstances. And I will say that this interview is being shot in early April. So who knows as time goes on how things will change. But right now, of course, everything is shut down. Jeff, you are head of the Downtown Victoria Business Association, DVBA. First of all, let's talk about what is the DVBA. Sure. Well, you know, thanks very much for having me. Uh, oh, yeah. And fortunately, we have a, a beautiful uh, morning here. So the Downtown Victoria Business Association is a member-led nonprofit uh, which represents 1,500 businesses in our downtown core. Uh, and we're really here to help market downtown, uh, support our businesses by uh, drawing uh, people down by hosting events and helping to support events. We also advocate on behalf of our businesses with the city and other levels of government on issues that are really important, especially to our small and medium-sized businesses. And ultimately, our goal is to have an economically vital and viable downtown, and also a really diverse and inclusive downtown for the whole region to come and enjoy. And you guys have been around for 15 years, right? Have you seen it grow over the years? A absolutely, you know, really, we're very fortunate here in Victoria that we have really one of the best mid-sized downtowns in North America. And certainly we're on the, the map now in terms of our food and beverage scene. Uh, the mm. fact that we've got all this great uh, architecture and an old town. Uh, mm. People love coming here. It's a very safe place. Uh, and certainly we've seen over the last several years, especially in the last five years, with all the new residences uh, being built in downtown, that this is really becoming not just a nine to five, Monday to Friday neighborhood, but really a seven day a week neighborhood where people are still here after five o'clock, uh, enjoying the restaurants, enjoying uh, the great pubs and local uh, craft breweries. Enjoying the call of the seagulls, uh, like how cool is that? Absolutely, and really this is becoming a neighborhood and, and we're seeing in North America a real uh, sort of uh, urban revitalization as people choose to live in the core of their areas and we're seeing that here in Victoria and certainly you know, um, with uh, the way retail has really responded and some of the great entrepreneurs we have in this region, uh, really we have a tremendously vital downtown. Uh, and the DVBA has done many events. I mean, the one at Christmas time was fabulous, you know, in Centennial Square. Absolutely. I mean, you know, Lights of Wonder, which we did for the first time uh, in December, was really just an opportunity to have a zero barrier event to invite the entire region to come down as many times as you like. Uh, there was no tickets, no, no money, yeah. uh, and really enjoy not just uh, Centennial Square, but really all that downtown has to offer. But, you know, we've also uh, been hosting the Victoria Buskers Festival last mm. several summers. Uh, we're one of the founding partners for the Capital City Comic Con. Um, you know, which uh, is a really exciting event in March. Uh, and we also provide grants for other smaller festivals to occur throughout the year that again, uh, bring people into downtown, vitalize and energize downtown and create uh, that great arts and culture feel that we have here. Exactly, and of course right now it feels so empty, you know, and I guess that's the big question now is how can we, in what is going on right now, how can we support these local businesses? I know we're going to chat about that when we come back, so stay with us. We've still got lots to chat about with Jeff Bray from the DVBA. We are back at Market Square. Jeff Bray is with me from the Downtown Victoria Business Association. And now we want to talk about, Jeff, how can we support all of these incredible local businesses through this? You know, right now for a lot of our uh, retailers, they're either closed or virtually closed. Our restaurants and, and lounges are completely closed. And so it's absolutely vital that we find ways to support them now so that when we get to recovery, and we will get to recovery, that they can still be here and open up their doors and all the people that are currently laid off will have a job waiting for them. So the way that community can help support our businesses is, first of all, check online for your favorite retailer, uh, your favorite uh, restaurant, see if they are operating, uh, operating uh, online in any capacity. So whether or not it is uh, using some of the food delivery services, whether or not they're offering the ability to buy gift cards, which yeah, is that's really a helpful. Yeah, huge one, right? If you've got a favorite store, it's like, I can just get a $100 gift card, I can use it later, and it's helping them keep afloat, absolutely. right? Absolutely, right now that revenue is absolutely critical. Uh, there are lots of stores that are operating in, in various ways for online and, and doing very safe uh, either delivery or pickup options. So certainly have a look at uh, your favorite store and see if you can support them that way. You know, uh, in terms of uh, our restaurants, maybe order an extra meal out, you know, for takeout or delivery uh, and, and find a way to keep their kitchens going because that's going to be absolutely critical for them. And, and understand that when we get to recovery, uh, we need these businesses in place 
so that the people who are currently not working will have jobs to come back to, especially our lower wage workers, our students, our newer immigrants who rely on those entry level jobs. We need to keep these businesses whole so that those jobs are there. And you know, remember all the times that you got a gift certificate for you know your kid's uh, soccer team and it was a small business that yes. donated? This is when we can support those small businesses and help to keep them here. Uh, they're struggling, they're under financial pressures, yeah. um, but we need them. And they're finding really creative ways. I know you were telling me that you know tech teams have come on board and said we want to support you, so they're creating websites for people. And things like um, you know, bookstores. I know that they've got a big display down at Monroe saying, yes. you know, it's a window display. Tell me a bit about that kind of sure. thing. Sure. So what we're finding is, you know, uh, Russell Books, uh, Monroe Books. Uh, are you're able to order online and then in a safe way come and pick up your books. Uh, we're seeing other stores downtown where you can come and buy puzzles. Uh, yeah. And again, safe delivery, uh, you know, Silk Road, same thing, you can order online and there's a very safe way to come and pick up your order. And these really are critical times for those small businesses because, and a lot of them are family owned, yes. because again, they don't have large equity, they don't have large lines of credit. Many of those stores bought all their summer inventory already. So they're already leveraged. Oh, yeah. So any way we can help them yeah. uh, to stay whole will make a big difference for the entire economy and the entire region. Because that's the thing, it's such a ripple effect, right? Yes. I mean, if you think about you know, one business, how it's supporting so many things, right? Yes. It's paying the employees, the employees then are buying other things. It's just such, it goes on and on. So anything that we can do will have huge ramifications of help. You know? Even if it's simply sending an email of encouragement to your favorite uh, retailer and simply saying, we will be here when you open up, will make a big difference. But certainly, you know, finding ways to get a little revenue in now will make all the difference when we get to recovery. And this community, I know this community, will be passionate about supporting our businesses and they will be there to support during recovery. Absolutely, and we've got to mention the DVBA website because you have all kinds of information about how to support. Absolutely, so uh, when people want to have a look at how they can support, one of the places they can go is downtownvictoria.ca uh, and we have a lot of information, uh, but there are also others uh, that have uh, uh, YYJ local support, has a list of uh, places you can buy gift cards, uh, Victoria Eats has a list of restaurants uh, that are doing delivery. So look online, take the time, uh, it'll make a big difference. Jeff, thank you so much. And I want to thank our viewers because you've all been wonderful and supportive. And I know that you are going to help with this initiative and keep our downtown Victoria going.